<laughs> anyway, we're going to touch on a uh, movie um, that um, both Randy and I have watched and we're on the same page with. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few podcasts ago, it'll probably mm-hmm. come up, I talked about an awesome television show called Stargate and Stargate Atlantis. So Randy thought he can just go out and pull the Kurt Russell movie and know everything about Stargate that there was to know. Eh, survey says, eh, no. <laughs> the first Stargate movie with Kurt Russell was really awesome and David Sp- Spader. Tango yeah. and Cash? Yes, Tango and Cash. Yeah. Um, Big Trouble, Little Chinatown. What's that guy that you always say my Q doll looks like? Rachel Ghoul. Oh, Lopan? Lopan. Sounds yeah. like a great Chinese meal. <laughs> Did you ever watch the series, Chuck? No. They play homage to him. Really? And have a guy in there that's in a wheelchair like Lopan was and before he sacrificed the girls. Right. And then Chuck, the series where he's a CIA agent that has a computer in his head. Okay. you remember that? No. Well, anyways, they say this Chinese boy, he's kidnapped by an old, the same guy in a wheelchair. He don't look anything like Lopan in the wheelchair, but his name is Ben Lopan. Oh, that's pretty funny. Ben Lopan. It was the same actor. Though. Yeah. Was, oh, uh, what's his uh, name? Uh, James Hong. Yeah. So, Randy's watched the Stargate uh, movie where they come out with Kurt Russell, where they find the Stargate at the first of the movie, and then they travel to uh, Chulak, I think it is. Might not be Chulak. There's another planet that's on Stargate. It leaves me right now. Mm. It's not the planet that Tilk's from. It has nothing to... It has a little bit to do with the television series, but not a whole lot of things. So, Randy's enjoyed it. Tell me your view of it. Dude, when I first started watching this, and I don't remember his name, but he's up there. He's giving a speech on why the pyramids were not made by the Egyptians. I don't have any idea who built them. I mean, that... Men from Atlantis? (laughs) Or Martians, perhaps? (laughs) <laughs> the point is not who built them, the point is when they were built. I mean, we all know due geological evidence dates the Sphinx back to a much earlier period. And knowing this, I think you know, we have to begin to reevaluate everything we've come to accept about it. I mean, I've, I've been able to show a fully developed writing system appeared in the first two dynasties. Spader. Uh, David Spader, is that his name? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's an old 80s actor. He was in Mannequin and I don't remember a bunch, of, that. A bunch yes. of a lot of other okay. 80s movies. And everybody leaves the room on him because they think he's nuts. We yeah. know why the pyramids were made. They were landing pads for spaceships. Right, yes. And to, to, to have the older lady that found the necklace yes. in the 20s uh-huh. with her parents. Yes, and, Ga- and Giza. Gives him a job. And he when he comes in and is able to understand the language like that. No, the whole underlining thing is, is his book was right. They were used as landing right, pads right. in spaceships. Right. to look at their language that they had on the tablets yes. and on the the ring the, the ancient, gates the ancients. right mm-hmm. and he was able to see all that and to open the gate was fascinating to me this was Correct. a great concept yes and it was original oh my goodness it's just I, I cannot wait to watch the series if it's anything like this I'm gonna tell you flat out and I'm gonna loan you the series because I have mm-hmm. them on the DVDs and you have a DVD player now um, it's fantastic yeah. um, I put it right beside the original Star Trek but you'll like it more because it has a lot of shooting and right. there are some cerebral episodes where you have to think a little bit but yeah. the really great thing about the movie is it has not even a grain of salt to do with the rest of it but it has an ocean of salt to do with it at the same time of right. the series yeah. so Kurt Russell plays uh, 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 um, Colonel Jackson and and he's a hard ass. He's a hard ass. Uh, he he got he left the military because his son yeah. committed suicide with his with his dad's gun, Kurt Russell's gun, messed him up. He's tried to kill himself, so he goes back. His wife's left him. He's got nothing. So the military says, "Hey, 
we got this thing we want you to do, and you're the most qualified because he was a badass. He was like right. a mercenary and all and that. And you don't find out his whole story till the end. Correct. So I like that. Yes. That was like, mm -hmm. what? And yeah, they don't bore you with the gory details. Right, yeah. And that's what you like. So in the television series, his character, uh, 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 Colonel Jackson, is played by the guy that played MacGyver on uh, the MacGyver okay. series. All right. Does he do a good job? Like he does Kurt? a fantastic oh, does he? okay. job. Right. He's got the humor. He's got the character down. Um, he's one of them shoot first, shoot some more, then ask a question, then shoot him again kind of an right. attitude like yeah. Kirk and Kurt Russell's character did in that movie. In, yes. Um, and you remember Kurt Russell was the one that wanted to blow the place up with the nuclear bomb. He was right. all about doing it. Then they ended up figuring out in the movie that they need to blow up Raw, yep. which is the which later becomes a, an evil villain called the Ga'uld. Okay. Now, Ra, they kind of portrayed as an alien, big-eyed, like this right. guy here, kind of an alien. Uh, that but, but took on a human that was the That was the motion picture trying to figure out where they're going. In the series, the characters that, are, that were like Ra are all um, humans. Okay. And this alien parasite that's a snake like creature which is right. about this long mm -hmm. that looks like a dinosaur but it's a snake go into the back of your skull mm -hmm. wrap around your spinal cord and they control you oh, and okay. you are them well i don't know if you know this or not but in the end of the movie his eyes blinked a weird color well when scotty beamed up the bomb <laughs> 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 when scotty beamed up the bomb when they beamed up the bomb kurt russell did his face right before the bomb exploded turned into alien form. That's right. And I was like, whoa! Well, I well, need more of that. You have to throw that out when you Oh, have to really? Because yeah. they're going to be all human? Well, you remember when Ra was talking and he looked at him and his eyes flashed? Yeah. That's how you know someone's a guy old in, oh, okay. in Stargate. Right. Okay. And believe me, Randy, you got to trust me on this. You and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of Right, uh, but this movie came out when you were out of high school. Yeah, I, I was living in an apartment with two other guys, and we didn't have no money for cable. Right. We didn't go to the theaters. Right. So I've never even heard of it. And when Stargate, the series started, it was on HBO, so there was nudity oh, in it I and yeah. cussing and all that. So then they decided to move it to television, and then it toned it down. But toned it got it better because yeah. you got to fall in love with characters that you know that were great and they're right. and they're fantastic. Sean, I don't want to say this on camera, but I'm going to. Whenever somebody says SG-1, yes, okay, that's referring to Stargate. Yes, I thought that was just another Star Trek series. Well, a lot of people thought that as well. I, I had no clue. Well, SG-1, mm -hmm. Stargate One, is a tip, is is a hint to a lot of things. The one is it's the first of the series. Um, the second thing is that's the team that Jack O'Neill leads. It's right. called SG-1. Okay. And because there's an SG-2, SG-3. Oh, SG, I didn't realize that. a bunch that. of, because once they get into the future and they realize how to work the Stargate, the Choppa Eye, as it becomes known in the yeah. series, um, they have these teams of explorers that go to all these different planets and stuff. Okay. So, yes, Stargate the movie, which I'm probably going to watch this afternoon because oh, it reminded me of a lot of things. fantastic, man. Um, it's really awesome. It's got action. It has a lot of fun, but it's it's not even a scratch, like I said, or a piece of, of salt in the ocean. But then towards the of you getting into the series, it's a, it's an ocean full of salt. I can't wait. I only have one problem with it. All right. And David's, what you David say? Spade. Spadey? Yeah. Is his name Spadey? No, it's Spade. Well, that, that's David not David Spade. Spade. Isn't it? No. That's why you said David Spadey a minute ago. I'm thinking, God, wow, how close are their names? What is his name? David Spade was the guy in Black Sheep. Okay. With uh, the fat white ninja. Oh, I can't remember. The guy, but he was in Mannequin. You're I'm right. sorry, and we're just two guys. Yeah, yeah. Talking about sci-fi, we may not remember the actors' names. So I'm thinking, okay, David Spadey. I need to go look this guy up and see what all he's been in. You mentioned Mannequin, but that's not David Spade. He's not David. It's Spade. a similar name, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's look get it back up. To that. And when you you're all gonna find sudden, it, you're gonna throw it up on the screen. I know he you. He finds are. some cave writings. Yeah. And all of a sudden, now he can talk to them. He was a linguist guy. No, though. no, I understand he that. He studied language. And they kind of explain that by saying, well, they kind of use the same vowels and the verbs. No, 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 no. And this is what you don't know. And this will explain it to you. That writing is Egyptian writing. Right. That's because the, they came through the loop. From from the Egyptian times. Ah. That's where the Ga'uld first 
kind of originated was from Earth and other plants, but they adopted the Egyptian. You know, they kind of mentioned that, but I let that slip through, yeah. and it just took me by surprise that all of a sudden they're struggling talking, then he walks in the cave with the little kid, yep. and then now all of a sudden he can talk That little fluently. kid's in the, in the series. Of Is he? Oh, while. okay. Right. The, the system lords are the main gaols, right? the bad guys, yeah. and they all have, there is a Apophis, there's Nefertiti, there's a, um, um, Anubis, it's all Egyptian gods, Set, um, Ra, which got killed right. in the movie, and there's all kinds. Apophis is the worst. Yeah. There's a, 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 a Ball, which is based on, yeah. a, 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 and he's a great supervillain too. When Jack Burton beams the head down, Jack Burton. Give my regards to King Todd, asshole. That was his name in Big Trouble in Little Town. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> when he beams the guy's head down and beams the two stars up, yeah. the, and yeah. then they decide to beam the, the explosion, explosives up. Well, the thing he beamed them up with, God, it's not a transporter. Was... They're called rings. Rings, okay. And they come down and go... <laughs> oh, it's fantastic three idea. So them guys were in the ring, so they only their heads were. Yeah. That's why the heads went up, because it cut them in half. Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Oh, it's I, a great movie. I cannot wait to start it's the a, series. It's a, it's a fantastic... The series, Randy, will blow your mind. is great. And then you say, oh my God, it's over. Then they do two theatrical movies that didn't get released in the theaters that follow up on stuff. On the first series? Yes. So after the series, ten there's, seasons, there's two, movies. two movies, okay. And then they go into Atlantis, Stargate okay. Atlantis. Which same is, characters? No, different characters, but the same storyline, Okay. different planet. Ah. As SG-1 is on Earth, Atlantis is in the Pegasus galaxy. It's not even the Milky Way galaxy. Oh, okay. So it's all part of a big, long storyline that Daniel Jackson and um, um, Colonel O'Neill and uh, Major Carter... Teal'c, which is a Ga'uld, he's not a Ga'uld. The Ga'uld are when the snake gets in your head right. and wraps around. But their incubation cycle, they put him into um, um, Jaffa, which is another human. But Put an X in their stomach and put a baby little snake in them and they grow. And when they become mature, they pop out, you grab them and you go and stick it in whoever is going to be the next goal. Oh, wow. So it's kind of creepy and horror, horror movie kind of things yeah. a little bit. But Teal'c, they find and become friends with. Right. He has one of these, he's a Jaffa. But he wants all of Jaffa to be free from the Ga'uld, so he's like a freedom fighter. Right. I hear the train coming. That might be our cue to quit, huh? Yeah, getting close. Yeah. Anyway, check it out. Stargate the movie. Fantastic. St Stargate SG-1, the television show, 10 seasons. Stargate Atlantis. They did one more Stargate show called SGU, Stargate Universe. Total crap. Don't even go there. It's a soap opera. Has nothing to do with science fiction. It's all about kissing and hugging and all this other crap and people betraying each other. I can't wait to watch it. Oh, you'll probably love it. <laughs> oh, I love that scene. But it all has to do, it's all based on technology they find in the two the series. series. Okay. Mm -hmm. but anyway, 
Thanks for joining us for our brief talk on Stargate Atlantis. Check it out. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. and Talking Sci-Fi. Ring, talk, right. This is Talking Sci-Fi. And ring that bell. Become one of our subscribers and join us. If you have any questions, email them to us or send us a message on yep. one of the sites. We'll be glad to answer your question online, why, just like we did today. Yep, absolutely. And uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope we make it through the, uh, the, the uh, Coors Light virus. And they're opening up a lot of things Monday, which is tomorrow. You can go to yeah. state parks again, some beaches. Still can't get your damn hair cut. I can't figure that one out. That's crazy. But anyway, stay safe, my friends. Wear your mask, social distance, all that jazz, and keep watching sci-fi because without sci-fi, the coronavirus would just be another common head cold. <laughs> this has been Sci-Fi Sean and... Just Randy. And we'll see you next time on This is Talking Sci-Fi. I've got an idea.